Okay, I'm going to talk you through uh, setting up the Find Your Nearest plugin, uh, Find Your Nearest Premium. Um, I'm going to assume that you've uh, uploaded the plugin to your WordPress installation so that we're ready to activate. So on activation of the plugin, you can see we now have a new entry on the left hand menu that contains uh, five sub items uh, new entry to be found under find your nearest we're going to look at the settings so on the settings page you can see we have three tabs uh, we have uh, general options we have options specific to the search form and options specific to the search results looking at the general options first we can set a Google Maps API key. This is optional, but it does allow you to uh, do a couple of things, such as monitor your API usage. It also allows you, in the rare cases where you may exceed your API usage, to uh, apply for uh, additional quota. So it's optional, but it can be set here. The next option is distance units. So basically, whether you want the plugin to operate in miles if you're in, for example, the UK uh, or many other areas of the world, uh, kilometers. So we would set that for miles. Now you'll notice that the items that we uh, will be allowing people to search for at the moment, they're just called FYN items. If we wanted them to be, for example, libraries, we could enter the term here, um, enter the singular, um, because it will automatically be pluralized uh, and here we can set the country that we will be using the plugin from within so I'm based in the United Kingdom so I should set that there so we can save those changes okay now to look at the search form there's only one option under the search form options here that is the option to uh, allow your users to filter their search results by a radius from the point at which they're searching so um, that filter is provided to your user in the form of a drop down menu so here we set the items for this drop down menu simply as a uh, comma separated list so if we wanted them to allow uh, to allow them to search uh, within five miles, for example, uh, and ten miles, and filter by twenty-five, fifty, and say a hundred, we'd do so like this. Let me save that option. Now the search form. I'll uh, provide another tutorial on that later, but just quickly, the search form is available to you as a widget from the plugin widgets area. So just looking quickly, you can see here, find your nearest search form, which you can drag and drop into any of the standard widget areas. But it's also available to you through a short form. The code for the short form being FYN underscore search form uh, and there are various options show postal code search which will provide a field for the uh, postcode show tag search show tag list and the one that's pertinent to the above option show within distance if that's set to one then it'll show the drop down of these options here finally under the search results options we have the option here to display the results as excerpts. Well, normally the results are displayed as uh, the whole post for the item. Um, but if you've got quite a lot of text in there, you can opt to just display the shortened excerpt. Build the item URL with category, where you can apply categories to any of these items, to these libraries, for example. The hierarchical category structure enables you to for example, categorized by region. Um, and if you tick this box here, that category will be used in the URL for your library or other item. Show results page text. Well, down here, 
you can see we have the search results page. This is the page at which our results are returned to. Currently not set, but we have created a page to receive them here. So if we look at all pages, you can see I have a page, FYN results. And within this page, I've just put some basic text saying that this is the results page. So I can select FYN results as my page and then if I tick this item here then the text that I've entered on that page will appear above the search results. If I leave it unticked that text will be overwritten entirely by the search results. And here under display results this simply sets the number of results I want returned on the results page. By default it's unlimited but I can set it to only one result, two, three, five, or say ten results. So if I were to save those changes and then you can see all of the options are now saved. And that's it.